Yeah, do that. There should be like a pop-up coming on your screens now. Sweet. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, today is Monday the 27th of Jan 2020. Um, this is the IPFS Docs weekly sync up call. Um, today we've got myself, Johnny, we've got Jessica, and we've got Leon from the community joining us, which is really cool. And he's popped over to say hi. Um, so we'll just quickly run through what we've got uh, going on for the next few weeks, um, what we've got done in the past week, and anything else that anyone needs to bring up, really. So I guess the number one thing to bring up um, would be that we actually got a Golia search function. Uh, so that's now running on the new beta doc site, which is excellent. Um, instead of the old search function where it just it collected information from the, the H1 headers of each post and each page, uh, it actually goes through and indexes the entire site now, which is really cool. So you can search for very unique and strange terms and it should find what you're looking for, which is excellent. Um, and again, that's hosted or that's managed by Agolia, which is really cool. Chris Waring, who's not on the call, uh, was the, the leading driver for that. So it was really cool. A lot of work put in from him uh, to get that up and running. So that's fun. Um, in fact, I might just be able to bring it up. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Can you guys see my browser screen? No, is that bit not recording? I don't know how you record that bit. No, you can do that. You can do that. You can it's the share uh, button. Here we go. Yeah. Technology. Whoa. Uh, so you can see things now? Cool. Okay, cool. Um, so oh, you guys are in the way over here. So let's just search for something. Uh, let's just go hashing. So this is really cool. You get like um, a context sensitive things here. So you actually get what's in the page as well, not just like the actual header of, of the content you're looking for. So let's click on this one down here. And I guess it just takes us to it. It's just a load. It's just a load more easier to actually find the things that you're looking for. And on top of that, Agolia has excellent metrics collection. So we can kind of see if people are typing for something. So say we went here, typed Brexit. The fact that this isn't found, Agolia is going to be logging that and being like, oh, okay, loads of people are searching for Brexit. Um, maybe you should write an article that includes Brexit. We definitely shouldn't write an article that includes Brexit. Um, but you know, it's one of the terms that I like to throw in. But yeah, that's really cool. So it's definitely going to help us um, like figure out the content that we need to be writing, the things that people are looking for. And this is also really cool because this will pair up really well with when other sort of IPFS projects are making releases. We can kind of look at those releases and go, oh, loads of people are looking at this new release that's gone out and we don't have a huge amount of docs on it. Maybe that's something that we can work around. Um, but yeah, so I think this is gonna be really cool. Um, and I like the fact that it's nice and fast. And Chris says it's very easy to manage, which is nice. Um, so and, yeah. it also, and it also works well on mobile for something that takes up such a large amount of space. It surprisingly does not suck on your phone. That's cool. I've not actually tested it on mobile. Maybe we can do that. Ooh, hex hashing. You're right, it does look good. I'm gonna start gaming this with like, I gotta figure out what word I'm gonna game the not found with. <laughs> If I see, Wait. if I see, there's someone in Colorado that keeps searching for Brexit. I don't know. What's no, going no, on. no, no, no. I'm, I'm tunneling in from everywhere, dude. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, cool. Um, so I guess that's that. Um, the next thing that we can guess we can discuss. Stop sharing now. Is over the next couple of weeks we're going to have um, a few different people contributing to the to the doc. So we've got a few different people. Um, picking up a lot of the grants that we have out available. I think there's about seven or eight grants available now, and I think at least half of them are filled up, um, or they have, they have yeah, contributors we're up, there. We're up to seven. Yeah, cool. And, and I will note, um, what has a bounty attached to it was arbitrarily chosen by me. <laughs> so there may be, um, you know, if something if something feels, you know, this is for Leon, for whoever might be reading this out in the larger world, if something feels like it ought to be that it is valuable enough that, that we should throw a bounty on it to accelerate its development, please let us know. Yeah, definitely. Um, so over the next, pretty much the rest of today, really, I'm going to be going through and like finding more stuff that we can be throwing bounties on. There's a, there's a priority listing of that. So there's like a priority of P0 all the way through to P3, P0 being the most, like highest priority, P3 being the lowest, which is probably not the way I should have done it because that doesn't make sense semantically anyway. Um, but yeah, so I'll just go through and then like throw bounties on, on some of the big things. Uh, Leon, if you find anything you really want to work on, let me know and then we can 
we can find out like the best path there. Uh, it's great to have you on board, really. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. Um, unless, Jessica, do you have anything else to add? I actually, no, I have nothing of value. Um, <laughs> I'm just here for the lulls. Um, you got one yeah. thing. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, if I make contributions, uh, should it be for the beta version or the previous one? Excellent point. So we're kind of in a weird limbo stage at the moment where we've, like you've noticed, we've got the two repositories. So we've got IPFS slash docs and then IPFS slash IPFS dash docs dash V2. So the actual content should go into the V2 stuff. So when you're making PRs and things like that, um, make them into the V2 version, the that repo. But then all the issues themselves they're staying in IPFS slash docs. Uh, there is an intention to, to merge those two together. It's just because while we still have the old site and before we deprecate it, we need to keep that repository alive with all the same content and things like that. Um, but yes, yeah, so actual content changes when you're writing markdown, that goes into IPFS slash IPFS dash docs dash V2. But then the issues you're addressing are in the old uh, IPFS slash docs repo. Does that make sense? Cool. Yeah, it's a bit, it's, it's very strange. It's just kind of a hacky way. We're kind of, because of the way GitHub deals with issues and things, we're trying to find the best solution where we can merge everything together without losing any of that history. Um, Cause that's important just to keep everything together. Really. Um, but yeah, if you have a, if you get stuck or anything, um, just ping an issue in one of the two places and uh, we'll help you out. Yeah, I think we actually, for right now, we've got IPFS docs v2, the, the beta site repo. You can't even open an issue in that repo. Um, basically, that's just a holding pen for the new code base until, as Johnny said, we deprecate the legacy code base. Um, we had intended to do it sooner rather than later, but there's some extenuating circumstances with an IPFS world at large and bandwidth that mean we're probably going to wait until the end of the quarter. Um, if we end up with more bandwidth, we will accelerate that. Um, <coughs> but um, the deprecation plan, once we all got it on paper, got real, real lengthy, and um, the decision was made just like rather than rather than rush through this and potentially botch some stuff because there's a lot of opportunities to break outside linking from other people's tutorials and whatever. Like, let's just do it. Let's let's delay and make sure we can do it when we know that we've got the resources to do it like perfectly well. So what that does mean is that um, all the issues live in docs, all the code lives in IPFS docs v2, which is sort of a pain in the butt. Um, that said. Any issue that's got a bounty put on it, we've explicitly noted the document, like the markdown document in the new repo that you should um, PR your changes against. So if you want to grab a bounty issue, those, those examples will be real, real explicit. If you want to grab something that isn't a bounty issue, hit one of us up and, and we'll just point you. It's like, here, this should live here. <laughs> just because it's you to know, figure that out yourself. So it is a little, it's a little hairy right now. We realize that, but well, hopefully that should be remedied in the soon-ish future. Soon-ish, it's fine. Cool, all right, well if that's everything, um, we can say goodbye and I'll stop recording. Cool, bye guys. Cool.